When it comes to storage, that's what you need for storing all of your files like documents, pictures, videos, and any other files. In the past, most of the computers had something called HDD, hard disk drive, and most of the computers now have something called SSD, solid state drive. Solid state drives or SSDs are much faster than HDDs. Actually, most of the HDD laptops are phased out unless you're looking at something very cheap most of the cheap laptops, like the super cheap laptops, come with HDD drives, but the majority of the laptops now have SSD drives or a combination of both HDD and SSD. I highly, highly recommend getting a laptop with an SSD. The problem with SSD laptops is that they are expensive. I mean, the higher the capacity, the more the price. And if you're looking for external hard drives, the same thing applies. For HDD hard drives, they're cheaper than SSD drives, but SSD drives are faster, they're more reliable, they're more shockproof. Remember, HDD drives are mechanical components because they've got a magnetic disk that keeps rotating. So if you drop it, for example, you are a, at risk of losing your data, but SSD drives are much more reliable and of course, they're much faster. When it comes to Mac computers, they are blazingly fast. They have the highest SSD speeds in the market. Of course, Windows laptops also have fast SSDs, but I believe that Mac SSDs are much faster. If you wanna get top-notch performance when it comes to SSDs, consider Macs for content creation. And regarding capacity, some people are fooled into thinking that 256 gigs is enough these days. In my humble opinion, that is not true. 256 is absolutely not enough for most of today's needs. Even if you don't do video or, or photos or anything like that, it fills up your computer pretty fast. When I got my razor blade, I opted for the 512 SSD drive. Later on, I realized that that was a mistake because one game may take up more than 30 gigs of storage. And Windows itself needs a few gigs of, of storage for updates. Think about apps as well, like Microsoft Office needs, I don't know how many gigs of, of storage. You need more than 512, definitely more than 512 if you are a gamer. If you are a light user, then 512 might be the sweet spot for you. But if you're a gamer, do not get a 512. Absolutely don't get 256. That is no, that, that's just no. Don't get 256. Get at least a one terabyte SSD for your gaming needs if you're a gamer. If you're a light user, go for 512 at least. I think that'll be fine. But if you're doing anything related to video or photography or anything that needs more space, 512 is not enough as well. Unless, of course, you get an external hard drive like this. This is an external hard drive. It's five terabytes from Western Digital, easy store. Now, this is not an SSD. It's just an HDD, but because it's cheaper, you might get higher capacities. However, you're sacrificing reliability and speed. So when it comes to storage again, go at least for 512. If you're a gamer, go for one terabyte at least. If you're a content creator, you can even go above one terabyte. The sweet spot for content creators, in my opinion, if you got the money for it, if you have the dough, is two terabytes. Of course, if it's a Mac machine, uh, that's gonna cost you a lot. But if it's a Windows machine and it's upgradable, let's say you get a razor blade, you can upgrade that anytime you want. Anytime you have the money, you can upgrade. So think about all these factors before buying the laptop. Storage is a very important topic to consider. But if you still wanna get something cheaper, you don't have the budget for more storage, you can solve the problem with external hard drives. But always remember that the internal storage is always gonna be faster than working with external solid state drives, even though SSDs are really fast these days. But something that is on your laptop is still faster and more efficient than something external.